Hi, it's Naomi Campbell, and welcome to my home. Follow me. So we are in Malindi, Kenya. I came to Malindi in 1994 for the very first time and then fell in love with Malindi in 1999. Everything is under a Makuti roof, so everything is open. So we will call this area the living room. And so what we do here is mostly we gather here before dinner and we just talk and we also gather here after dinner. Most of the furniture is workmanship that's been done here in Kenya, so we keep it local. This table is one piece, also done here in Kenya. This is a chandelier that we got in 2000. It has that Moroccan Egyptian vibe. And we have to give props to the two ladies, which is Carol Beckwith and Angela Fisher, who has been championing Africa and Kenya for so long. So these two ladies, for me, are my heroes of the whole region because they've just done and always loved and just shown the beauty of Kenya. This is one of four pools. This is the coldest pool in the house. It's because it can get very hot here. So this is the cold pool. We put dinner tables here, depending on how many people. We can have three or four different tables, but we just need one big oval table here. And at night time, it's all set up with lanterns. It's all candle lights. It's very sweet. And what I love about being here is that you're really living outside, you know? Even if you're covered, it's still open, you know what I mean? So you still get the natural air and the breeze and just part of the whole landscape, green. And I feel like this is what people want right now, is just to be outside all the time. And beautiful climate, of course. This used to be one of my rooms. Do you want to see? I love this room, it's got a great energy. Oh, the ceilings, it's all gotten wooden beams. That's what we wanted because it's just, I think wood is so grounding. I love the wood that goes around. I just love this room, it's just chilled. We have air conditioning. I don't personally sleep in air conditioning. I don't like it, it gives wrinkles, I believe. So we have these nets and I love this old fashioned net. I love it. I always love when I go to hotels and they have it. I mean, of course we have mosquitoes here. We want you to feel where you are. I wouldn't want to have a place that's like, takes away from the feeling. We have the best of both because we're on the beach, we have it a little more modern, but here it is authentic Kenyan, African art, artifacts. So I'm going to take you upstairs. So upstairs is like just a chill area. So you can have a lot of people staying with you and you just never feel like it is because everyone just does their own thing and has their own little corners that they like. I used to love to come up here to read. So this is our gaming area. We used to play cards up here a lot too. Again, we have a lot of this African textiles and artifacts, which I love all this stuff, love. Here I love to come. Sometimes I would do yoga here because I just like overlooking the property. It's quite sunny here. Shall we go down? This is breakfast area. Buffet comes here and everyone just eats. This area has always been a buffet area. Once again, we're under a Makuti roof. This table is also done here, it's one piece. This is a table when we do like buffet lunch, everything's laid out on this table and everyone just comes and eats. This is our local artist, Armando Tanzini, who I would love for you to meet. But what I love about Armando is he also has a school where he teaches the local artists and mentors them and I love that. I don't know, people have such like the wrong perception of Africa. It's a beautiful place. This is definitely my go-to place of like chilling, relaxing, like completely shutting down. This is the place where I shut down. Kenya is just like a natural gem. It has the safari, it has the bush, it has the coast, it has the dunes. It has all the elements and people don't realize that. I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm on the Indian Ocean. Love the Atlantic, but Indian's better. This is the main pool area where everyone gets sun. I wouldn't say this is a jacuzzi because you don't want heat in Kenya, but this is kind of like just a smaller pool 
with a little fountain that you can just sit and chill and have a mocktail in my case and relax. Okay, here we go. So this is another area, we call it new houses, which has four rooms each and a kitchenette. What I love about Kenya is you've got bougainvilles growing wild everywhere and I love bougainvilles. Come on in. Each room has its own little twist. None of the rooms are identically the same. Basically, it's just nice. Everyone has their own area. They can do what they want. It can be very independent here. You can be together and then you can have your alone time and nobody bothers anyone. That's what I like about it. I love these. I just love these. These are my favorites. My favorites. The first time I heard about Kenya was from my mother's elder sister, my auntie June. And then the second time I heard about Kenya was from Lauren Hutton, who always said to me when she would go to Kenya to revitalize after working, I mean, Lauren Hutton, it's Lauren Hutton, legendary. She always said I would come back with a real smile. And I remember the first time I was coming to Kenya and I said to Lauren, I'm going to Kenya, she said to me, what, look at your smile when you get back from Kenya, you're gonna have a real smile. And I so understood what she meant. She's 100% right. Taking you to the spa. We like Henry Cheneau's spas and technique. So Flavio is friends with Henry Cheneau, so he thought it would be great to have Henry Cheneau put in a little spa in, in the house. So this is the spa. This is the room where we do one of the Cheneau techniques. So this is hydrotherapy. You get in like the bath for like 30 minutes. And then after they wrap you with mud, they cover you with mud and they sink you in this one. And you sink down, 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 down. But your skin, good detox. It's about detoxing, cleaning out all the toxins. And that's what you want to do when you go away and chill. I recommend all my friends when they come here and all my guests to do this on the first day so that they have the best sleep ever the first night. So I've never showed you my room. That's the only place I haven't showed you is my room. Come. This is my room. Come in. So it's my little living area. And this is my bed area. And I love this picture of, I love this little boy. I think he's gorgeous. I love his face, I love his eyes, I love everything about him. It's like you can reach out and touch him. This is a great picture. The lion, I mean, the lion is it. The lion and the panthers. I love panthers too. That's a piece from Armando. I mean, even my door, everything is done here. Everything is done here. The headboards, everything is done in Kenya. They're so good at woodwork. So besides the pool, we also have the beach across the street. It's just a chilled area on the Indian Ocean. It's just really, it's beautiful. It's a little paradise. You love that Maldivian water? We have it here. That transparent blue, right here. So we are back to where we started. Thank you so much, AD, for coming and joining me for a little trip around my home here in Malindi, Kenya. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope that you will all now look at Kenya with different eyes and come here and enjoy the gorgeous nature that it gives. Thank you so much. Brown girl out. The African continent is where it's at, watch. Been saying it for a long time, but you see.